Yo, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, a surprise new face shows up in the Knuckles live action series. The TMNT Mutant Mayhem animated series gets a premiere date plus a whole lot more in today's Fix. <laughs> Now with the news and teaser for the third Sonic movie, which is set to hit theaters in December, we finally got our first extended look at the upcoming Knuckles series. Now with it, we get a glimpse at what Knuckles and friends are up to in Green Hills, a new threat set to harness the Echidna's powers, as well as a familiar face that Sonic Adventure fans might not have expected to see. Spotted at the minute and 53 second mark of the trailer, Pacha Kamak is seen working at a bowling alley. Now, Pacha Kamak is the father of Takal from Sonic Adventure, serving as the chief echidna of the Knuckles clan. Now, he's the dude that attacked, you know, the altar of Emerald. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know, setting loose the immortal god Chaos, who freaking killed him. Yeah, now, he's clearly not dead in the Knuckles series, so the events that have taken place in Sonic Adventure clearly have not occurred just yet in the live-action adaptation. And that's not to say that we won't see Chaos pop up at some point in the live-action universe, Perhaps we'll see Chaos Unleashed in the Sonic 3 movie. I hope so. Anyways, we'll have to wait and see, but one thing's for sure, if Pachacomac is present in this series, then maybe Takal is somewhere around as well. Now, throughout the Knuckles trailer, we do see the use of those ring portals, so it's likely more Knuckles clan members have come through and infiltrated Green Hills, likely maintaining a low profile and assimilating into human society, much like Pachacomac. Now, fortunately, we won't have to wait too long to see what else is in store as the Knuckles series hits Paramount Plus April 26th. In other news, it sounds like Coyote vs. Acme, that movie, y'all know what I'm talking about, may never see the light of day. Now, WB reportedly plans to shelve the movie, which in the digital age means deleting it from its archive. Now, according to The Wrap, WB rejected offers from the likes of Amazon, Netflix, and Paramount. And it was even reported that Paramount had plans on a theatrical run for the movie. Now, the main reason it seems WB will shelve the movie instead of selling it is due to the amount of money offered. And with the studio wanting to make at least a $5 million profit on the film, given its $70 million budget, offers from other studios were significantly low. So instead of selling it for a similar price tag, WB plans on writing it off as a tax break for about $40 million, which was reportedly the amount some of the studios offered to buy the rights for the film. Now you can't really put a price tag on bad PR, but I get the feeling this behavior on WB's part, like shelving the Batwoman movie, a completely finished Scoob animated movie, and now this might do more harm to the studio's legacy and reputation in the long run than the monetary gains of writing these projects off. Now, you wanna know something really crazy about this entire thing is that it's being reported that some of the execs in charge, including CEO David Zaslav, haven't even seen the film. And it looks like neither will any of us, unfortunately. And finally, in things we will see, we get our first look at the TMNT Mutant Mayhem animated series coming to Paramount Plus. The Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series is hitting the streaming service this August with the Heroes on a Half Shell hitting the mean streets of New York. Now, the animated series takes place after the events in the movie, with the brothers no longer in hiding attending high school. Now, the uncast that provided their voices for the movie will return to reprise their respective roles for the teenage brothers. No word on if Jackie Chan will return to lend his vocals to Master Splinter, but actor Iola DeBori will return as April O'Neil. Be sure to check out all the mutant mayhem August 2nd. All right, that wraps it up for today's Fix of Entertainment News. Thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.